few? Okay, good. No, no, no. We got good news. Uh, yeah. Well, mixture of news. All right. Hey, let's start off with this. So we talk a lot on the show about Lawrence Mayer, Dan Rivera. Yes, yes, we do. We do. <laughs> we do. All right. Yes, we do. Well, this story is not exactly about him, but he figures into this. All okay. right. So All right. if you're watching this week. Oh, I know where you're going. I uh, do you? This is you a probably gr- saw this. Uh, this, this is a great is a, story. This is one of the best stories this I've seen in the last year. This is this is big stuff, right? So, right. all right, back up a little bit. All right, very good. So you know Secretary of State Bill Gallo. I know him. Unfortunately, all too well. He's been in office for quite a long time. Way too long. Okay. Well, usually when he has uh, faced re-election, he does not have a primary opponent. Right. This year he does. Yes. Boston City Councilor Josh Zakem is Who? running against him for the Democrat nomination for Secretary of State. Who's a total communist. Well, uh, so Lawrence Mayor Dan Rivera endorsed Zakem in the Democrat primary two weeks ago. That was a little surprising. Well, gave him the endorsement. And shortly after he gave him the endorsement, who called? The Bill, mayor. Bill Galvin. The Secretary of State, Bill Galvin, what reportedly called him to voice his displeasure with the decision. And according to the mayor, uh, the conversation became a little bit heated. Um, some some tense words uh, First thrown of all, back I, and forth. I, I don't believe for one minute Dan Rivera has ever had a heated conversation with anybody. I don't know. That's what he <laughs> says. He says it got a little heated on the phone. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure every conversation Dan has with people on the phone is heated. Uh, the secretary supposedly uh, reportedly voicing some displeasure about the endorsement. Yeah, Not he, too happy with yeah, how he, things happened. Yeah, he yelled at him. But this was the important part. So... Uh, Reportedly, according to the mayor, uh, he referred back to the mayor's first election in the city of Lawrence against then Mayor Willie Lantigua. Yes. Uh, where, as you remember, Mayor Rivera won by just a few votes, about 81 votes, 81 right? 81 votes. And uh, he said that the Secretary of State claimed that he made Mayor Rivera the mayor as part of voicing his displeasure. He said, I made you mayor. He did. What do you think about that? He did. Why? He did. Here's what happens, folks. No matter what CNN tells you, no matter what the Democrat Party tells you, no matter what your communist professors in college tell you, the fact is voter fraud is rampant in this country, and it's rampant in Lawrence, and Lawrence is a microcosm for what's going on in the country. Everyone knows that the voter fraud in Lawrence over the last eight years has been predominantly... Uh, the work of one man, and that's Willie Lantigua. Mm-hmm. I've seen it myself. Dan Rivera came on my radio program and said on the air, on the record, he has seen it himself. You followed this for years in Lawrence. For years. Right. Um, I, I was very intimately involved in covering that campaign, and everyone was worried that Willie was going to cheat. Yep. And here's how they cheat. I don't, I'm so tired of hearing uh, people say there's no such thing as voter fraud. Here's how they cheat. Signing up to vote is on the honor system. Right. Imagine you have a bank where, people, where, where the teller says, you know what, we're not going to write anything down. You just come in, take whatever money you want, and write it down yourself. Just let us know what you, what, what you withdrew from your account. That's how voting works. Mm-hmm. You can sign a motor voter card, and by simply checking the box that says you're a citizen, mm-hmm. we're supposed to believe you. All you got to do is put it in the mail, right? Right. You yep. put it in the mail, and you're a registered yep. voter. So unless somebody who knows that you're an illegal alien sees you voting and then files a complaint, there's no way to track how many illegal voters we have. Mm-hmm. Willie Lantigua has been doing this for years. I've watched him do it for years. Marcos Devers, the former state rep, has watched him do it for years and talked about it publicly. So when he was running, in the last three weeks of that campaign against Willie, Dan Rivera enlisted the help of the entire Democrat Party. Nikki so- Congressman Nikki Songus' office came down. Elizabeth Warren's office came down. Uh, Secretary of Bill State, uh, State Bill Galvin's office came down, mm-hmm. and the heads of every Democrat town and city committee in the Merrimack Valley came to Lawrence to watch Willie to make sure he didn't cheat, Yep. to be able to spot people who were illegal aliens trying to vote, to try and stop people from voting in other people's names, to try and stop Methuen voters from voting in Lawrence. Mm-hmm. So Bill Galvin's right. He came to Lawrence with all of his generals that he has, He sent the word out to all of the other big Democrats in the party to send their generals to Lawrence to make sure Willie doesn't cheat. Here's the question. If there's no such thing as voter fraud, why did Bill Galvin have to do any of that? Why did Bill Galvin say to to Dan Rivera on the phone, I made you mayor? If If these elections are all fair, if there's no illegal voting going on, why would he make such a statement, Fred? I don't know. 
I don't know. That's what I love about Freddie. He's got no opinion about no anything. No opinion. No it's opinion. It's awesome. Just straight news. Straight news. So this is all according to the, the report that was given by Mayor Rivera. Yes. The conversation. Now, yep. supposedly Secretary Galvin was given an opportunity to respond to these allegations, and has not. Of course not. Um, but according to the mayor, uh, he's calling the entire conversation, quote, unbecoming of a constitutional officer. Yeah, he's probably what right about, about that? that. Because the fact is... It's politics, though, right? Yeah, but Galvin did send people to Lawrence, and they did stop Willie from cheating, and as a result, Dan did win. So he did make Dan Rivera mayor. On the other hand, that's your fucking job, Mr. Secretary of State. Your job is to make sure that there's no voter fraud. That's what we elect you to do. It's amazing that it took him until four years ago to figure out what his job is. Like, by the way, this is the guy that tried to stop my public records bill. And, How about that? And he's single-handedly responsible for watering down the public records bill that we actually had to get through. Mm -hmm. Right? It would have been a much stronger public records bill with much higher penalties if Bill Galvin hadn't stepped in. And here's the reason why. Try getting documents out of his office. Forget it. Just try. Yep. I mean, we had a guy that ran against him a few years ago. Uh, I can't remember his name. That's awful. Um, but we had a guy, that a Republican that ran against him and submitted a public records request to find out how much money it was costing the Commonwealth for Bill Galvin to be running TV commercials encouraging people to vote during an election where he was on the ballot. Did he get the records? Never got the records. Never. So, Why? I mean, this is because, because Bill Galvin's the guy in charge of enforcing public records mm. laws. So when you get the guy in charge of enforcing public records law and not turning over public records, who do you go to? Maura Healy? I mean, you might as well just talk to that lamp over there. Right? I mean, come on. But I think this is, a, this is a very important story, even though it seems like a small thing. It's a very important story for people to, to follow and to pay attention to. Because if the narrative was true that there's no such thing as voter fraud, none of this would be happening. Right. That whole conversation never would have even taken place. And by virtue of the fact that Bill Galvin admits, I made you mayor, by virtue of coming to Lawrence and making sure Willie doesn't cheat, is proof there's voter fraud.